Hello, this is Eric of Not Bows, and these are my Vessi Everyday Move Shoes. I noticed I got a bit of stains on here. So this got me wondering, what if I go through mud? Can I get this clean? Well, we know this is waterproof from other videos. You should see a link above, and it will be a link in the description where I test these shoes in water for a while, and not a drop of water went through them. So are these kid-friendly shoes? Do you need black? Would even a lighter color like this be fine? Well, that's what I'm going to find out. Now let's get started. So now what I want to do is get to a mud trail, a nice dirty trail. This place rains a lot where I am. You can use this in a place that doesn't rain a lot. It's just fine. These shoes are like regular shoes, but waterproof. One thing I'd like to see are, are higher tops because I can't go in a very deep of a puddle. Vessi Shoes was established in Vancouver, BC, Canada in 2018. So they had the technology of what they call Dynatex and they started selling shoes and they advertised them online. In fact, that's where I seen the shoes. I never knew they were actually in Vancouver, BC, Canada. Their factory, however, is in Taiwan and that's where they get their shoes produced and shipped over. I myself live in northern BC at this time. I was on Vancouver Island, but I have moved since then. Now let's get going. You can see it's already raining. I don't want to get my camera too wet. Not waterproof, but the shoes, however, are. So for those of you that didn't know, I got my first pair of Vessi shoes around 2000. These ones are black, and black doesn't really show stains. So I want to take this all the way. I honestly don't know. I might ruin my shoes completely that they'll never look good again. But hey, if I'm going to do this, I'm going to go all the way. And you might wonder, how do I know about Vessi shoes, like that they have a production plant in Taiwan, that they're based in Vancouver, BC, Canada? I was a victim. A victim of targeted advertising. This is not nearly enough mud. We gotta find more. Cause if we're gonna go, we're gonna go all the way and find a lot more than this. So I'm gonna do a little test here. I got some mud on the toe of my shoe and I wanna see if that can wash off. So yeah. This is not nearly as much mud as I want. Well, that did a decent job of washing off that, but how about long-term dirt? Well, I want to see some long-term mess to make this more fun. Let's get going. Now, who would have thought that finding quality mud would be difficult? Well, I think I hit the mother load. We got some mud to test. This should be exciting for you more so than me. Okay, let's get in this mud. Oh yeah, we got some mud. We're really pushing now. Uh, yeah, this is kind of kind of gross, guys. <laughs> I should move the camera down so we can see better, eh? So we're getting this mud nicely done. Uh, my pants are nothing like this either. Okay, do we got the mud we want? I'm not sure if this is gonna make you guys happy. With how destroyed my shoes are going to be, and my laces are undone. I don't know if the, sh the laces are uh, going to wash out. Darn. I don't know if the laces are the same material or not. Okay, so can we see my feet here? How muddy they are. It's quite uh, muddy, that's for sure. And uh, I don't think I can really get much more mud than this on my shoes. So nice up close view. My shoelace is kind of dirty too. I have not a clue if that will come clean among the shoes and the shoelaces. But yeah. If you're not happy with this, I don't know who will be. I'm going to try one of the shoes in the water here and see if it comes clean and leave the other one until I get home. So this is going to take a bit of time. I'm going to leave it soaked in mud for say about 20-30 minutes and see if they clean off. Let's check this out.
So that puddle saw limited success in cleaning it off. Yeah, I think I have to wash this by hand. Fun, I might have ruined these. So, I got my Vessi shoes getting muddy, and now I'm questioning my life choices, because I don't know if they'll come clean. This is the one I soaked in water a little bit after. Ah! Yuck. Okay, time to wash these off, and myself after. Now to start cleaning. First step is remove the laces. Next step is let it soak in water for 10 to 15 minutes, and the laces you soak in water as well. So we're gonna see how this goes, and then after we do that, we gotta sponge it off, and later use a cloth to actually wipe it clean after at the end. So got my sponge right there, got my cloth right there, and she lays it and come off now. So the shoes have been soaking for a little bit here. The interesting part is uh, they float. You can see some of the dirt have came off, but I don't know if it'll all come off, but I just started cleaning. So I'll have to see how this, uh, how this comes out. <laughs> Hopefully it can look like new. I don't know if it will. I didn't even start washing it till about half an hour after I got all that mud on it. Hey, this might take a few washings for all I know. It's not fully clean yet. It's not looking good quite yet. I'll see. Now for the moment of truth, how did the shoes come out? Not too bad, not too bad at all. Mind you, there's a little bit of stain remaining at the end of the toe here, but this is probably old stains that were there set for about a month or so. So yeah, it seems that fresh stains might come out a little easier if we get them when they're fresher. However, this is a fairly light color. My black shoes that I have, the ones I originally bought, well, that's hard to tell. There's even stains on black, but when you have a lighter color, well, it's gonna stain a little more. And it did take a bit of work to scrub it. So just keep that in mind. And I had to scrub around the edges with a bit more work because some dirt caught around here fairly well. And uh, water did get in the shoe when scrubbing it because I'm pushing against it. Um, with a cloth and I basically push water through the waterproof barrier of the shoe and I'm I believe this should still be waterproof hopefully the the soap I used wasn't uh, bad to use hopefully Vessi will work with me one day and uh, we can maybe get you guys some discount codes but so far no luck no dice I paid for these shoes myself I paid for the black shoes myself my older shoes and they hold up pretty well, so I can vouch for these. You pay a little more for them, but they're waterproof and uh, they hold up well. And that's the main thing about a good quality pair of shoes. You want something that actually lasts. So yeah, thanks for watching. And if you have any questions, leave the comments below. Have yourselves a most wonderful day.